Zandet Batch Disbursement allows you to send up to 1000 transfer at a time through a single Excel file upload. This removes the time and hassle of executing many transfers manually. You can send money to any bank in Indonesia as well as e-wallets like GoPay and OVO. First, you need to activate your Zandet account for disbursement. You need to be an admin user to do this. Go to dashboard, in live mode, go to setting, and then go to sending money and click on disbursement. You'll see a notification that disbursement is not enabled. Click enable. Review the declaration that you are not using disbursement for restricted activities and then click agree and continue. Before trying out batch disbursement, please set up the following. Firstly, user permission. You can invite multiple users of your team to access your Zendit account and collaborate on your disbursement process. To restrict the action they can perform, you can define their user roles to limit their access. Each team member must be assigned a role when they are added. To view and manage user permission, go to Dashboards, Settings, and click on Team Members. Click on Invite Member. Input your team member's email address and select the permission you wish to grant them. To use batch disbursement, you'll need at least one user with added access and one with approved access. This can be the same person. A user with added access can create and edit disbursement. A user with approved access has the ability to approve batch disbursement. Click Invite to invite your team member. Each of your invited users will receive an email which guides them to sign up for their own Zendit account. Secondly, approver to set up PIN. For security reasons, a user with approved access will need to set up a six-digit PIN. You will be requested for the PIN when you approve a batch disbursement. To set this up, go to setting, your profile, additional security, and click on PIN. Click on set your PIN and input a six-digit PIN. Be sure to keep this information safe. Disbursement receipt. When funds have been successfully dispersed, we can send out a receipt via email on your behalf, so your recipient is notified of the incoming funds. You can customize the email sender and email footer in your dashboard. Go to Dashboard, Settings, Sending Money, Disbursement Notification, Batch Disbursement Email Receipt Template. Input the email sender and email footer that you would like recipient to see in the email notification, then review the preview and click Save. Lastly, funding your balance. Your balance refer to stored value in your attended account which can be sent out or withdrawn. Before you do any disbursement, you will first have to top up your account balance. You can do this by transferring funds to Zendit. You can see Zendit's bank account details in your dashboard. Go to Cash and click on Top Up. Follow the instructions. After you have transferred the funds, Please save the proof of transfer. If you top up to the VA provided, funds should be detected within a few minutes. To create batch disbursement, go to Dashboard, Send Payment, Batch Disbursement. Click Upload and download the Excel template provided. Fill in the transfer detail in the Excel template. It consists of two worksheets, one instructions and two template for you to fill in the transfer details. Please fill out the required column on template sheet and one row for each disbursement. At a minimum, you need to fill in the amount, bank code, bank account name, bank account number, and a description of the transfer.
If you want the recipient to get an email received, fill in the email field. Save your file in a desired folder and go back to your Send It dashboard and click on Upload. Find your files in the folder you see it in. Click on Upload Batch. When you upload a batch, Zendit automatically checks for errors in the transaction details to preempt wrong or failed transfers. After validation, you'll be able to review any issues with transaction details. You can fix all issues directly on the dashboard before proceeding with the transfer. There are two possible errors, account does not exist and account name mismatch. Once you reviewed all the transaction details, you can submit the batch for approval. Click Submit. Approve the batch disbursement. The approver will receive an email notification that a batch was submitted for approval. They can then log on to the dashboard to approve the batch using their six-digit PIN. Ensure that you have enough balance in your account before approving. Once the approver approves the batch, Zendit will process the transaction immediately. Please note that once submitted transactions are final and cannot be amended or reversed. We are also unable to correct bank names or account numbers after a batch has been submitted. After approval, you can review and track the status of each batch disbursement on the dashboard. You can also download reports of all transactions from the dashboard for reconciliation. If you had filled in the email fields in the template, we send email receipts automatically to the email address once the disbursement is complete.